and welcome back to my video. I am having a lazy day, so I'm not wearing any makeup, and I'm sorry that you have to look at my face like this. Oh my god, my hair. Um, anyways, I have been off for like five days, and I work the next three, so I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not getting ready for this video because I want to have a relaxing day on my last day prior to working. Anyways, I want to do a video today on tips for charting for nurses or just anyone in general that has to chart, I guess. Um, but funny story, back when I was in nursing school, I was like so excited to chart. I remember at my clinicals, I finally was at a clinical location that let nursing students chart and I was like all over it and I remember the nurse was like, you know, you need to like simmer down a little bit because you're like not gonna like charting. And to be honest, I don't really mind charting other than the fact that it's like just another thing to do to check off your list and um, you just, you have to do it. It's a part of the nursing world and charting always changes and things that they require and don't require and all that. Um, so I wanna go through kind of some tips for charting, not necessarily like, I don't know, I don't say how to chart because I guess these are some tips on how to chart. But anyways, let's just jump into this video and I'm gonna stop rambling now. But my number one tip for charting is to chart as you go and in real time if it is possible. There's obviously several situations and incidences where you're just too freaking busy and you don't get a chart till the end of your shift. It just happens, some days are like that. Um, but make sure you're charting if you can, as you go. I personally like to go in, assess one patient, get them all situated, pass their morning meds, come out, chart everything, go assess my other patient, come back out, chart everything. You wanna make sure that you are timing things accurately for when you actually did them. So I see a lot of nurses that put in their charting system or like in the chart that they assessed both their patients at 8 a.m. But realistically, you were not in both rooms at 8 a.m. assessing them. And God forbid you ever get pulled into court, which luckily I have never had to do that. But again, I've only been a nurse for like two and a half years, so that's not very long. Um, you want to be able to prove that your times are consistent and accurate with the events that are going on. And if they pull up like, oh, well, you're working that day, you had these two patients and they see that, oh, you were also in this room at the exact same time, how do we know which room you actually were in? You just don't wanna put yourself in that situation. Even if it's like, I charted one assessment at 7.55 and the next one at 8 a.m., good. Different times, and I do that for all of my charting. My charting for my like IVs and like medication infusions, all those different things, I try to be very consistent. My next tip for charting, and this is the biggest tip I give nursing students, is chart every single encounter or conversation that you have with a provider. It's so easy to be like, oh, that wasn't that important and just like blow it off and don't chart it. But I guarantee in your charting system, there's somewhere that you can put like, uh, spoke with Dr. So-and-so, notified of blah, blah, blah. And then you can click like orders received, no orders received, whatever it may be. Everyone's charting system is obviously different, but even if it's so simple as like you went up to a doctor and said, hey, do you want me to put in a feeding tube? It's like day three, maybe we should start feeding the patient. And the doctor says, nope, not right now, let's give it another day. And you chart that in your charting system. And let's say the next day the doctor comes back and says, well, why didn't you put in that feeding tube? Well, you could be like, well, you told me not to yesterday. And very rarely are you actually gonna like pull up your chart and be like, well, doctor, look at what I charted yesterday on you. Um, but you just need to be very, state the facts, non-biased, what the conversation was, what the result was of it. Don't let your emotions get into involved, which I know sometimes it's hard. If a doctor is yelling at you and then just like refuses to give you any orders, still chart, MD notified of blah, 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 no orders received. And your bases are covered because if you ever have to go to court again, you just want to make sure your bases are covered. And I know it sounds silly to like be like, you're charting, like, I mean, it's a legal document. Like you're charting your, to save your butt. And I know it sounds kind of silly and like stressful, but like that just is what it is. You're trying to save your butt. If something were to happen and there's a lawsuit, you need to be able to, you're not gonna, chances are, unless it's an extreme case, you're not gonna remember that exact patient scenario unless, again, it's an extreme case, but you're gonna remember how you charted and be able to go through and support your evidence. My other tip for charting, and not everyone does this, is I go through at the end of my shift and I review all my charting. Even if it's just a quick little scroll through to confirm that I didn't chart that, 
you know, their left arm was flaccid at 8 a.m., but at right, or at, at <laughs> I can't speak, that their left arm was flaccid at 8 a.m., but then at 12 p.m., they had equal grips in all extremities. Unless that was actually true, but, you know, I, I caught myself many times, I'm like, flaccid, or like their pupils, I accidentally charted, you know, that one was sluggish and one was brisk, and if it's true, that's true, but like, those are big differences and potentially the difference between you're having a stroke or you're not and you just need to be careful so i review all my charting at the end of each shift i think though i'm gonna just end the video there i could talk about charting all day but um if you have any other great tips leave them down below i hope you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time